As the numbers continue to climb in South Florida, federal, state, and local officials are doing what they can to make sure testing is available to anyone who needs it. CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke with Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez about the new federal testing sites in both Miami-Dade and Broward counties and his plans to expand testing hours. One of the new drive through test sites is right here at the Miami-Dade Auditorium on Flagler Street at 29th Avenue. You are encouraged to make an appointment. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says the county plans to continue adding sites and also plans to go to nighttime testing as well. It's where anyone five years and older can be given swab tests for the coronavirus regardless of symptoms, and they are free. That's another 2,000 tests a day capacity here in, in Miami-Dade, and the more testing that we can get in Miami-Dade, the better. By adding these five test sites, it'll help process these air, these high area like South Florida's and confirm whether there's positive or negative tests in the area. Among five federally funded sites, MacArthur High School in Hollywood and Dillard High School in Fort Lauderdale, as well as here in Miami. We're going to continue to add more testing sites here in Miami-Dade. We also want to do some testing sites that go into the night. We know that some folks uh, can't get to, uh, to their tests because uh, they're working in the daytime. You are urged to make an appointment online by going to www.doineedacovid19test.com. You'll show them the registration number and it'll expedite the process of the registration and then the testing. So if you're, if you're registered, the average wait time is about 15 minutes. Jimenez wants people to get results sooner, which can strengthen the effectiveness of contact tracing and beef up testing. The more we test, the more we know how many people are, are infected, the more, the more that those folks, those people, our, our residents know that they are infected, and then they can take you know, preventative measures so that they don't, you know, uh, pass on the, the virus to somebody else. Uh, somebody they don't know or somebody, one of their loved ones. Which can easily happen in multi-generational homes. So there's three generations in homes in a lot of these homes. You have your, your children, your adult, your, your parents, and then your grandparents and or your, your older, your senior, your senior residents. So what's happening is people are not self-distancing self inside their homes. The federally funded sites open at 8 in the morning and will be in operation through August 2nd. There are other sites at Blanche Ely High School in Pompano Beach and Miami Jackson Senior High School here in Miami. For a complete listing of all of the addresses of the sites, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. In Miami, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. And a fifth testing site did not open at Miami Jackson High School. You can see crews working to remove standing water in the area. The site has been cleared and set up is now complete. Testing will begin tomorrow morning instead, and today's missed tests will have to be rescheduled. When local